What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So, brothers, over the last few months, we have seen this back and forth between uh, this particular couple. Uh, I don't know if it's a love truth or LA truth. Um, and his wife, Miss LA Truth. And of course, they're very popular here on YouTube, very popular on Instagram. Um, and they've been together for six years and they've been having a lot of issues. A lot of uh, what I would call Negro issues, okay? And they have been going back and forth, secretly recording each other's conversations, bringing each other's families into it. It's a whole hood mess, all right? And I'm not going to go into all of it because I only want to get into what she's leveraging against him. She has went live the other night talking about basically how dusty he is, how ugly he is. And now this is a brother she was married to. She's still technically married, all right? And all of a sudden now the brother's ugly, okay? And, um, you know, and she's a, uh, he's a rapper, uh, actor, she's i don't know she has this blonde weave so i mean you're gonna see it here but let me go ahead on and um and, and pretty much talk about this particular tirade and then we're gonna come back what's good y'all what's up what's up um what's up y'all um i just want to address a few things even though i know i don't fucking have to I'm not going to even read no comments. I'm not even going to say nothing to the comments. I definitely want to say I love the people who rock with me and the ones who don't. First of all, I want to say um, this dude that just keep harassing me and harassing me and harassing me and harassing me and harassing me for three months straight. Three months straight, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I'm sick of your ugly ass. Leave me alone, bruh. Leave me alone. So this person says, oh, um, let me jump on here and prove my innocence of me not saying nothing to her dad. Okay, so I'm on the phone with you and you tell me before you start recording, I don't know when you started recording because y'all know y'all like to edit and put out bits and pieces. But when you first started recording, you say, you know, um, this didn't happen. I didn't say that. I would never say that to you. Turning on your tears. And I don't know about y'all, but if you ever dealt with a narcissist, if you know what a narcissist person is, please raise your hand in the comments. Please tell me you can relate because I've been dealing with this for six years. Easily manipulated. Can turn their tears on. Can sit there and act like, oh my gosh, I would never, I would never. So on the phone call, y'all hear me saying, yeah, um, Y'all hear me saying emotional, like, fuck. Like, I just can't believe my daddy would lie. My daddy too old to be lying. My daddy too old to be lying. Like, why the fuck would my daddy lie? So, you basically just mind me before you even started recording. With all these tears and fake shit, had me believing that, okay, maybe he didn't say that. Maybe my daddy lying. Had me second guessing my dad. But when I pull up the receipts from just not my dad, but from my dad sending my sister receipts of you saying this to him the same day, and when my stepdaughter says it, oh, it's true. It's very f true. That is what you said. I understand you want to get on here and you want to defend your name to the best of your goddamn ability, but baby, it's too late for that. It's too late for that out it's out there it's done and i'm just sick of your ass. i'm sick of seeing you oh you just oh you just nasty to me nasty you your family all y'all getting on my goddamn nerves y'all just cannot leave me the so let me tell you something since we want to keep playing, since you want to call people and tell people to share things with me and do this and do that, I just want to let you know, be very prepared for me. Be very prepared for me. Because what I'm not is not that weak little girl that you had on the phone crying. What I am not is that woman that's going to keep running from your ass. What I am is a woman that's going to stand in her truth. What I am is a woman that's coming for everything that you stole from me, devil. What, I'm, what I am is a woman that's about to make you pay for everything you did to me in six years in six years lie on you lie on you for what 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 everybody know from day one i've been having nothing but receipts and quite frankly i'm tired of talking about your ugly ass quite frankly i am i am i am 
Y'all keep saying, oh, you you didn't like him when he started getting small. I sure the f didn't. You know why I didn't? Because the truth started coming out even more. Why the f I've been dealing with this man for how many f years? He gets small. He gets sick. I'm there for him. His family was not there. Show me a video when Kevin was there. Show me a video when Toya was there. Show me a video when they was helping him with his tube. Show me a video where that was with him in the hospital. Show me a video when y'all was at doctor's appointments. Show me a video. Show me a video. Please. Show me a video where y'all was there. Because you wasn't. Never was. I was there. I was there suffering every day. Taking care of this while he still talks shit to me. So guys, you heard what the sister had to say. Now, she she's a good looking young lady. And um, allegedly she went to Ivy League school. So she's not a dummy. And she was dealing with this guy for six years. She's talking about all, if you will, iniquities. Iniquity is really a sin, but all the things that he's done wrong, he's dusty, he's ugly, he's abusive. He's all of these multitude of things. She could be right, I don't know. My question is to this young lady, who obviously you're not an unattractive young lady, you have had an opportunity to go to school, to be educated, to meet decent men. The question is, why did you choose this particular guy? Because all of a sudden you hear that kind of black woman talk, you know, I'm gonna get back what you stole from me. The devil is this. And that wasn't what you were saying when you was with him. You know, you was there for him. So then how did you choose him? Because somebody who, you're not an unattractive young lady. There you had other opportunities. What happened to those guys? Because obviously, the family's stalking you. They're bothering you. I mean, in my opinion, it would indicate that he did all the wrong. You did no wrong. Fine. Let's take it from your vantage point. How come somebody as great as you ended up with this guy? And these are questions that need answers because let me, let me just tell you something real quick. If it's black men, okay? If it's black men, we come out and air out our wife like that. What are they going to say? Not all black women like that. My friends ain't nothing like that. Where are you finding your women at? Where are you finding them at? Where are you finding them at? Where are you finding them at? Because my I don't act like that. My friends don't act like that. And, 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 and it becomes like, you know, somebody's lying here. A lot of these young ladies are picking these dudes in which you said that they have no values they are dusty they are no good and here's where the rubber meets the road if they if you are attracted to somebody like that what does it say about you what does it say about your values and here's where we're going to get to a lot of ladies and i'm not saying this happens all the time because you can meet a guy he's a doctor he's a lawyer he could be a, he could be a, a complete dictator and abusive i get that but usually in black america what we are dealing with is that women are not looking at the right characteristics of a man how does he respect himself how does he respect you what does he want to be a husband does he want to be a father figure has he come from that environment but, th but those guys tend to be not so charismatic, right? They're not as exciting. He's too boring, X, Y, and Z. What about the fact that he's a good man? And you can't tell me that a woman like her has not had the opportunity. See, what what what, what a lot of sisters want to do is, is, is select what they want. Then once it don't work out, all of a sudden it's D-Little. He's ugly. His breath stink. He's broke. He he been he been it the whole time you was with, you, you was with him, okay? Now, all of a sudden, we want to call that out. But all the other opportunities you had, you wasn't want to deal with their own brothers. And they was checking for you. So why has it got to be you the victim all the time? Why you don't have no ownership in how things turn out? Where you are completely exonerated. You know, you didn't do anything wrong in the relationship. He did everything wrong in the relationship. Fine. And then you see, I'm just going to be real. When I look at the young lady, I look at how she presents herself on social media. For a woman that had the opportunity to, 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 to pick and go to uh, Ivy League school, this woman acts like somebody that, I'm, I'm just going to say, in the urban environment. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is kind of Pukisha style a little bit. Or I'm going to be real. 
So when you behave like that, when you present yourself like that, what do you attract? You attract pookies. You, your, your demeanor attracts low. A lot of sisters out here, you, 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 you're, you're playing the part of a pookisha on purpose. And then when you end up with pookies, now you're mad. Stop being pookisha. Stop looking and acting like the the, the like like the kind of the, the kind of ladies that bums want to talk to. Then get mad when you attract them. What are you signifying? The way that I see, I mean, the way that the young lady, the, the way the young lady talks, and the way that the young lady looks, and the way that she presents herself. Almost no guy that I know that is doing well and affluent and that's a decent guy. You're going to be intimidated by somebody like her because of how she's acting. She might be a great person. But who can deal with that pookies all day? They want that. They don't appreciate nobody. That's what pookies do. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again for another episode of The Subway Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. Thank you.